the switch in this circuit has been closed for a long time. How much charge is on this capacitor? The switch is then opened. Immediately after the switch is opened, find the current in each resistor. A long time later, what are the current in the 1 ohm resistor and the charge on the capacitor? Q equals to CV, so we need the voltage across the capacitor. Because the capacitor is in parallel with the 4 ohms, it gets the same voltage as the 4 ohm resistor. To find the voltage across the resistor, we need the current through the resistor. A long time after the switch has been closed, the capacitor is fully charged, so there is no more current in this segment. That means if we cut the wires here and there, the rest of the circuit should not be affected. So we can just look at this part of the circuit. These two resistors are in series, so they get the same current, V over R, 2 amps. So the 4 ohms gets uh, I times R, 8 volts, and therefore the charge on the capacitor is 16 nanocoulombs. Then the switch is opened. Immediately after, there is not enough time for the charge on the plates to change, so the charge on the capacitor is still the same, 16 nanocoulombs, and that means the voltage across the capacitor is still the same, 8 volts. With the switch open, of course, no current can flow through the 4 ohms, so the current through this is zero. To find the current through the 1 ohm resistor, we can do V over R. With this switch open, we only have one loop for current to flow. So the resistor and the capacitor, they are in series. Together, they share the 10 volts from the battery. Since the 2 nanofarad gets 8 volts, that means the 1 ohm gets 2 volts. 2 volts divided by 1 ohm, so the current is 2 amps. A long time later, no more charges are coming onto the plates of the capacitor or leaving the plates, so there is no current in this segment. Since they are in series, the 1 ohm resistor would also get zero current. To find the charge on the capacitor, we can use Q equals to CV, so we need the voltage across the capacitor. Because these two are in series, together they share the 10 volts from the battery. This time, there is no current through the 1 ohm resistor, so the 1 ohm gets no voltage. That means the entire 10 volts drop happens across the capacitor. So this is 10 volts. So the charge is 20 nanocoulombs. So in this case, before the switch is opened, the capacitor gets the same voltage as the 4 ohm resistor. Since effectively, these two resistors are in series, they share the battery's 10 volts. So the capacitor gets only part of the battery's voltage. It gets 8 volts. After the switch is opened, the capacitor gets charged some more and eventually gets all of the battery's 10 volts.